Welcome back to Vanilla WoW Book Club. If you're new, what we do here is we're reading books in game in chronological order to try to piece together the lore of classic WoW. For many years, the Night Elves worked tirelessly to rebuild what they could of their ancient homeland. Leaving their broken temples and roads to be overgrown, they constructed their new homes amidst the verdant trees and shadowed hills at Hydra's base. In time, the dragons that had survived the Great Sundering came forth from their secret abodes. Alexstrasza the Red, Ysera the Green, and Nuzdormu the Bronze descended upon the druid's tranquil glades and surveyed the fruits of the Night Elves' labors. Malfurion, who had become an archdruid of immense power, greeted the mighty dragons and told them about the creation of the new Well of Eternity. The great dragons were alarmed to hear the dark news and speculated that as long as the well remained, the Legion might one day return and assault the world once again. Malfurion and the tr three dragons made a pact to keep the well safe and ensure that agents of the Burning Legion would never find their way back into the world. Alexstrasza, the Lifebringer, placed a single enchanted acorn within the heart of the Well of Eternity. The acorn, activated by the potent magical waters, sprung to life as a colossal tree. The mighty tree's roots grew from the well's waters, and its verdant canopy seemed to scrape the roof of the sky. The immense tree would be an everlasting symbol of the Night Elves' bond with nature, and its life-giving energies would extend out to heal the rest of the world over time. The Night Elves gave their world tree a new name, Nordrassil, which means crown of the heavens in their native tongue. Nuzdormu, the Timeless, placed an enchantment upon the world tree to ensure that as long as the colossal tree stood, the night elves would never age or fall prey to sickness or disease. Ysera the Dreamer also placed an enchantment upon the world tree by linking it to her own realm, the ethereal dimension known as the Emerald Dream. The Emerald Dream, a vast, ever-changing spirit world, existed outside the boundaries of the physical world. From the dream, Ysera regulated the ebb and flow of nature and the evolutionary path of the world itself. The Night Elf Druids, including Malfurion himself, were bound to the dream through the World Tree. As part of the mystical pact, the Druids agreed to sleep for centuries at a time so that their spirits could roam the infinite paths of Ysera's dream ways. Though the Druids were grieved at the prospect of losing so many years of their lives to hibernation, they selflessly agreed to uphold their bargain with Ysera. All right, so that was a good one. So this one, the World Tree and the Emerald Dream, Illidan had just escaped with a little bit of the well's waters, and he essentially replanted it somewhere uh, in Mount Hydral uh, to create a new Well of Eternity. Now, the dragons find this out. They're pretty freaked out. They're like, oh, shit, another Well of Eternity. That means the Legion's going to come back and fuck us up. So what they did is they all blessed this new well in a different way. The first one was Alex Straza. So Alexstrasza plants this acorn in it, and it grows a world tree. And this is the first world tree in World of Warcraft, uh, similar to Teldrassil, if you've played the game. So this first one, Nordrassil, uh, is grown from Alexstrasza, and essentially it's just a way of connecting the Well of Eternity with a more natural source. So it's not as arcane as the one that was controlled by the High Elves. All right, and then you have Ysera, and what Sarah's going to do is she's now going to connect this world tree, the roots of it, into her Emerald Dream. So now in Classic WoW, the Emerald Dream was a very mysterious thing. All we knew is it was this transcendental place that were life, like the energies of life were controlled and conduited. Um, and it somehow ran beneath the world of life that we experience in the game. Uh, so it was really mysterious, really cool. Again, it wasn't like this concrete place. Uh, that we see in Legion, where we actually visit the Emerald Dream. Which is, again, side note, I like that about Classic WoW. Not everything has to be concrete. It can be a mysterious place, get your imagination going. So Ysera builds this connection to the Emerald Dream, and the Druids promise that they will hibernate for long periods of time to kind of connect with nature and help to guard it. Now, as we find out, within Classic, especially if you play a Night Elf, there are corruptions in the Emerald Dream. And I'll get to that when we talk about the next World Tree. Uh, Nizdormu just makes the Night Elves immortal. And yeah, that's about it. So just diverging from this book a little bit. It doesn't last. 
I won't ruin it because that's a future book, but Nordrassil does fall. The Legion does come back and mess it up, and the Night Elves freak out and they plant a new world tree because they don't want to not be immortal and they want that connection back to the Emerald Dream. And that's Teldrassil in game. But we will get to Teldrassil in a future book. So thank you guys for listening to me ramble about classic WoW lore. This was the World Tree and the Emerald Dream. And until next time, au revoir.